YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What's up? It's your boy, Original Dog Man. This sounds kind of fucking, I don't know, contradictory. It's your boy, Original Dog Man. <laughs> I don't know. It's stupid, but funny and cool sounding all at the same fucking time. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, anyways. So I've been tagged. I like tag videos. I'm not going to do the three days of tobacco, three days, three tobacco uh, tag because, like I said, I, I don't think I could do tobacco and wear it for a day in this hot summer-ass heat. So, if I get tagged by that, just know I'm going to do that shit in the fall and the winter time. I'm going to wait a while before I finish that tag. But anyways, I got tagged by um, Bro Sense. Or the tag originally started. I'm going to get the credit tag to Black Mass. He started it. I believe he started it. I don't know who really started it, but I think Black Mass started it. That's what Brosan said. So, four fragrances that will put hair on your chest, which is pretty much basically saying something that's really masculine that a woman possibly may not be able to pull off, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Some women wear masculine fragrances any damn way. Real masculine. You know, and in this tag, I actually wish I had my old fragrance, Polo Green. Or the Polo Original. And But I don't have it. I plan on getting it. And I should have had it for this tag, but I don't. Um, so I have four fragrances, one honorable mention. I'm going to explain why I think these fragrances will put hair on your chest. And that's pretty much why. That's pretty much it. I, I, you know, I'm not going to reach too far into women or transgender or anything like that or unisex or anything like that. I'm just going to say, I think these fragrances will put hair on your chest and I'll explain to you why I think this. Many of you may not agree. Many of you may think that my fragrances are pussy. I don't know. But, oh well, I'm going to try to complete the tag because that's just what it is. Now, I may have other fragrances that I'm missing in my collection or in the closet and <clears throat> that I don't have but this tag video I'm going to have four fragrances that are fucking beast mode put hair on your chest type of fragrances the first fragrance I'm going to put up and many of you who have who try to do this tag I'm pretty sure will have the same fucking fragrance in mind Bentley intense for motherfucking man because it is a fucking masculine fragrance. Um, women don't like this. I've had women tell me that this stinks. But I love this fragrance. But I'm also going to tell you something that might ruin this fragrance for y'all. So don't buy it. Because <laughs> it almost ruined it for me. But it's still, I still like this fragrance. Wait, let me get rid of that alcohol open. Yep, there it is. It's there. That fucking rum... That amber, it's great, it's masculine, but what gives this thing that masculine kick is the fucking cedar. It's that fucking pine, I guess pine cedar or cedar, uh, smells like pencil shavings. This is what gives it that masculine kick, and it'll put hair on your motherfucking chest, because it's got that leather, that rum, that amber, that cedar, and I get all these notes out of this. Be beautiful fucking masculine fragrance. Bentley Intense for man. Love it. I got a backup bottle. That's just how much I love this. Plus it's cheap. <clears throat> really cheap. Alright, so I'm going from cheaper to more expensive. And then I'm going to do the honorable mention last. Um, <clears throat> the next fragrance that I put fucking hair on your chest is Midnight Oud. This shit is so fucking powerful. And I, it's a clone, supposed to be a clone I believe of Interlude Man. And it is cedary, piney. It's a cedar pine blast. It's got a little bit of oud. And it makes it very, very, very fucking powerful. And it lasts a long time. Anybody who has this fragrance will tell you that. This is a power fucking house. And it will put hair on your chest. And it's it's for men. It's like, uh, you put that on, it reminds me of a fucking lumberjack. With jeans and that plaid black and red shirt. Or sweater. And a fucking beanie and a fucking axe on his back. This is what this reminds me of. Fucking powerful shit. Now the next fragrance, why it would put hair on your chest. Because if you're not careful, 
and you overspray and you're wearing it in the summertime, you won't be able to handle it because it's a fucking nuclear fucking fragrance. And you'd have to be a man to wear this motherfucker. You know, um, oh, let me get one more. I got to do one more because this, uh, my bad. I should have pulled this out, man. I should have pulled this motherfucker out. And I should have known this is going to be in some of y'all's tags. So I'm going to go ahead and do two honorable mentions, man. I got to pull this bitch out because there's no fucking way that this isn't, this bitch won't put hair on your chest. So I'm going to just set this to the side <laughs> and let you guys see it. All right, the next fragrance that I'm talking about, put hair on your chest, is Mancera's Red Tobacco. Now it's sweet. A woman can wear this. But fuck, if you're not careful... This can get cloying. It will give you a fucking headache. It is a powerhouse. It is nuclear. It will put some fucking hair on your chest. Mancera's Red Tobacco. This is a tobacco scent, baby. This is where you sitting in the lounge full of motherfuckers smoking tobacco. You can smell that sweet tobacco. Sweet cherry tobacco. This is... But this has that... I believe it has that rose and that and that vanilla and that tobacco and... The, and I believe a little bit of... Let me see if I can get that oud out of here like most Mancera's. Yeah, a little bit, a tiny bit of, I guess, skanky oud or argo wood or some kind of wood. But <clears throat> this is a bad boy. This is a bad boy. I, I'm a man, and I couldn't handle this. I could not handle this out working out there in that sun and that heat. I'm telling y'all, this, this, this became cloying. This became, gave me a headache. But it's just that good and just that powerful that it put me on my, it almost put me on my fucking knees. Straight up. The heat combined with this, ooh, almost knocked me out. Yes, sir. This will put some fucking hair on your chest. This is a powerhouse fragrance. This is the, I would have to say, this is Thai for the most powerful fragrance in my collection. I shit you not. All right. The next fragrance I'm going to put up that will put hair on your chest is Oud for Greatness. This is leather. This has that clean, masculine, magazine smell, that office, doctor's office smell, that clinical smell, kind of. And it's a wonderful fucking masculine scent. And this will put some hair on your chest. This is a man's man's fragrance. You know, I think a woman can pull it off if she wanted to. I think it's unisex also, but it still will put some fucking hair on your chest. All right? If you're a woman, this will put some hair on your titties. Straight up. That's just how I feel if you wear this. This is a great, great fragrance. All these four fragrances are top notch. Two cheapies. A sort of designer. Well, des designer. Two cheapy. Desi well, cheapy. Designer cheapy. Designer cheapy sort of niche. A lot of people say niche. A lot of people say designer. And a true, desi a true niche right here. Initials Oud for Greatness, which is what I've always wanted for a very long time since I can remember, since I smelled it. Now, the two honorable mentions I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up, and I the reason why I'm saving these two last, though most people do the honorable mentions first, I'm gonna do my honorable mentions last because you guys hardly ever see me talk about one of these fragrances, and the other fragrance should have been in the lineup, which is Fahrenheit. Um I guess this isn't the original. This is the reformulated. But oh my God, this still kicks. The petrol note, the gasoline note in this is still freaking beast mode. Now I wore this, I believe, I don't know, three, four weeks ago, a month ago, and I actually enjoyed this. It was rough that first hour, but the rest of the the rest of the seven hours that I worked, I I truly truly enjoyed this. I was able to pull this off, but this was when I was working inside. Now, if I was working outside, I don't know. It's probably been different. And that hot heat, this would probably been different. But, yes, this would put some fucking hair on your chest. Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Dior Fahrenheit, yes. The reformulated, but it's still good. Still very, very good. And most of you who have this, or most of you who smell this, know that this motherfucker is only for a real man. This motherfucker you'd have to wear with a leather jacket. Yeah, a leather jacket. You have to wear that with a leather motherfucking jacket. Um, and you have to be like a biker to wear this motherfucker. Or or, or um, a mechanic. Right? Gives off that petrol note, that gasoline note. Yes, sir. Now, the last one 
uh, is an honorable mention is Azaro Poro. This one. You guys rarely see me talk about this one. Um, and this is an old bottle. Look how fucking dirty the top is. That's dirty. Look how it's like chipped right there and shit. Uh, and I barely use this. And the reason why this will put some fucking hair on your chest. I'm going to spray it on me. God knows I kind of don't want to. But I'm going to do it for y'all. Woo! Woo! I haven't smelled this motherfucker in a long time. Woo! Okay. This motherfucker, I'm going to tell you, will... Damn. It's got cotton ball smell. This is that old school cotton ball type of deal. Alright. Imagine some... And I did this in the, when I did this review. Imagine someone took a leather suitcase... And it had some lining in the inside, like some cloth lining in the inside. Like something like this. Like my mask, like this cloth lining in the inside. And then they shoved a, 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 a bunch of fucking cotton balls in that leather suitcase. They closed it up and let it sit in their attic for like years. Then you pulled it out and opened it. And this is what you get right here. This is what you get. You get that cotton ball smell or, or that um, mothball. Mothball, not cotton ball. My bad. Mothball smell. This is it. This is a masculine fucking scent. It's got that mothball smell. Like, you know, some people throw mothballs under their houses to deter snakes and other creatures and shit. Insects. This bad boy here. <sighs> shit. I forget how fucking vintage this motherfucker was. How fucking... I, I barely used any of it. I mean, that's how much I use. So I'm holding on to this bad boy because this is a true vintage fucking fragrance right here. This smells like vinegar and mothballs. It smells good. Don't get me wrong. It smells good, but it smells like vinegar and fucking mothballs. I wish you guys could smell this. If you guys don't have this Azaro Poron, you should get your hands on this because this is a unique fragrance. There's nothing else that I smell that smells like this. There is. Let me know. This, to me... Is set apart, set aside on its own. This speaks for itself. There's, I don't know of any clones of this that smell like mothballs and vinegar. Sweet vinegar. It's got this mothball, vinegar, vanilla type of vibe. It's got that old school type of almost fougere vibe in it. Barbershoppy just a little bit. This will put some fucking hair on your chest. This will put some fucking hair on your chest. So most of y'all drink that, that you know, hardcore liquor. Try drinking some fucking vinegar. You couldn't do it. This will put some fucking hair on your chest. Right? So this is my video, my tag. Uh, bro Sense, I appreciate the tag. Like I said, I don't get to watch every last one of y'all videos. So if you tag me, just let me know. Like, come to my channel let me know. I watch your stuff. Um, I may watch one video per two weeks of one reviewer and then I'll catch someone else because I can't there's no way in the hell that we can catch everybody's single videos so it's not it's not gonna happen because I watch a lot of people I enjoy watching variety so if you tag me in your videos at least let me know or don't be offended if I don't do it period so that's just that you know um, like I said I'm not offended if people don't do my tag I, I call you out on my videos and if I see you I might say hey I tagged you or whatever uh, but uh, I'm not gonna be offended if people don't do it so don't be offended if I don't do y'all tag videos um, I like to do them I, I wish I could do all of them but sometimes you know sometimes we we don't have the fragrances to do the tags or sometimes we're busy or whatever but this is my video peace out I hope you guys enjoyed this four fragrances that I put hair on your chest that's what's in my collection. That's what I think would put some hair on people's chests. And I might be wrong. I wish I had my Polo Green. That would be my next one of my fragrances. Um, I'll have my eye out on to get. I need to get my hands on my nostalgic Polo Green. So I can reminisce on when I was a kid wearing that shit. So peace the hell out. Do the damn tag. So who am I going to tag in this video? Um... Everybody that I tagged on the last video, peace out.